So for this assignment, you're going to have the opportunity to work together to collaboratively make a deck of review flashcards. So let's take a look at what you're going to start with and what the end product will be. So you're going to get a copy of the sample that shows that you can use plain text, you can use images from um, like a Google image search, or you can use videos as either the question, side one, or the answer, side two. You can also choose to color code your cards and the text color if you want. There's no requirement to do so for this assignment. Let's take a look and see what this little set, these set of uh, four questions looks like as a flashcard. So you see here's like the white index flashcard, our smallest planet in the solar system. And if we look at the back, we see that that would be Mercury. Then we can move on to the next question. So name a gift from France that was gifted to the U.S. in October 28, 1886. And we can flip that over and you see that is a picture of the Statue of Liberty. We can move forward and here we have an image as our prompt for our question. And what is that? Well, that happens to be the flag for Argentina. We'll flip that back over. And finally, here is I bet you've never seen a goose parade. And here's our YouTube video that actually shows a little goose parade. And it's a cute short little video that I thought you might enjoy. And that's it. That's exactly how it's done. So now you're going to be given a access to this template and you can see the scripting that's here and in fact I'll even show you how to um, update and edit to add a new flashcard. So here we are in the view only view of this uh, flashcard template. You need to make a copy of it. So I would sign in and if you're signing into your University of Delaware account you would put your whole UDEL email address because um, I am the owner of the file, it's going to look different for me if I log into my UDEL. So I'm going to log into my public Gmail account, which does not have access to this. You can see that under the file menu, you can make a copy. Okay. So we're not going to edit the original, but we're going to make a copy to our own drive. And once you've done that, then you can edit this however you want. Okay, so the first thing we would want to do is get rid of these questions that don't pertain to our subject. And so here is the first question we want to ask, and maybe it is, um, what is this garden pest? Okay. And then I'm going to go out here to Google. I'll go to images okay. and I will just put um, aphid okay. and so this is the picture of the aphid that I want to choose okay. maybe this one and I'm going to go to view image okay. you have to make sure that any of your images are public on the web and end in an image mm, identifier at the end, JPEG or GIF or PNG. So I'm going to copy that, come back to my copy of the spreadsheet, and I'm just going to paste that in. Okay. Um, if I just wanted plain text, I could say um, how fit in an ounce. I'm going to say that it's 85 and I have absolutely no idea. Okay. What's going to happen is you're going to submit this back. Um, you're going to make sure that you change the share settings for your instructor so that we go into the share settings and change so that anyone with the link can edit. Okay. You're going to make it anyone with the link can edit and save. And then this is the link that you will submit for your assignment. And you'll be done. That way you get credit for your work here. 
Now what's going to happen is when your instructor gets this back, by the way, you can change the, the card color if you wanted. Uh, you can change the text, but there's you don't have to. And your instructor is just going to take your information when she gets it and copy it into the master sheet. Okay, let's go back and be the instructor's view. Okay. Um, and now we're going to relaunch those flashcards and that will be shared with the entire class after we're done. Mm -hmm. And we'll go to the end because I didn't delete those other questions. Okay, what is this garden pest? And you see it's an aphid. And how many aphids fit in an ounce? And we guessed 85. So that's how the whole thing is going to work, the whole workflow. And um, I think you're going to have a wonderful flashcard system to practice for your final exam. Good luck!